Hey, it's Faye. Sorry for the damned hair. Today is yet another day to review the newest April Skin Edition called the Magic Snow Fixing Foundation. It retails for $27 and it comes in three colors. I have the darkest shade 23 Natural Beige. This is a foundation in a cushion compact. The idea is that it's easily accessible and on the go. It contains green tea leaf water for damaging skin, Jeju Cherry Blossom Extract for moisture, and Camila Japonica Flower Extract for anti antioxidants to prevent aging skin. The foundation is sealed with a mesh netting allowing even application. So I've been telling myself to use more sunscreen, therefore that shall be the only product on my skin. My skin type is oily acne prone, meaning I'll be able to really see if this product works in the department of troubled skin. I'm beginning with one puff and evenly distributing that first, then going back with one more layer over my acne scars and spots. I love how blendable this is and as soon as it touches my face, it kind of lays flat, but not in a cakey way. Side by side, you can see that it doesn't really hide my red acne spots, which takes away the idea of it being buildable, you know? However, I do like that it still looks like my skin with those peekaboos. I have way more red scars on this side and this product beautifully blends away those minor marks. Right off the bat, I notice it's buildable but not to the extreme. You can see how open my pores were on this side of my face and it did make certain fine lines visible, especially my eye bags. My biggest concerns were my acne scars and spots plus my huge pores. But with this product, it claims to be lightweight yet buildable, control oiliness, give protection to the skin while staying full coverage. So far, I don't know how I'm feeling about this, but it's 1.30 so let's wait and see. Ayo, hey, I'm back! I've been out and about for 5 hours and these are the outcomes so far. Starting with the pros, we can agree that for oily skin, this looks amazeballs. I don't know what it is, but it's giving me a dewy glow, but not to the sense of oiliness. I don't mind the coverage, even though you can clearly see my flaws, because it kind of looks natural. I tend to crease a lot around my nose with cushions and cushion foundations, but gladly, there is no creasing. I totally thought it would, but hey, I'm not complaining. There were two main cons I found. My pores were magnified. Not so much on my nose, but on my cheeks. And I found a weird streak on my nose bridge, so it made me reconsider a lot, yeah. I I do love how my skin still looks lightweight and natural. I'll be back in a bit. Eight total hours passed, enough for a full day of work or school. Forehead looks fine, eye bags look great, no corner creasing, fantastical. I will say, I'm starting to look cakey. It's almost like the foundation is breaking up in particles. On the actual cheek areas, scars are definitely back to red and it's patching up. Far away, it looks fine. My oiliness was under control and it still looked like bare skin, but up close, ooh girl, not so much. All in all, if you have acne, don't get this product. I feel like there are better cushion foundations out there for you. If you have minor flaws, it's a good one. That's my take on it. Like this video if you want me to review the Laneige BB Cushion for acne prone skin. I'm sending love. Bye!